Hi, I'm Denise. I'm both a visual artist and a teacher of fine arts. I'm here today to give a drawing lesson, but first I want to tell you what the definition of art is in the dictionary, okay? Art, the products of human creativity. Art, the creation of beautiful or significant things. Significant, what does that mean? Deserving to be considered important, momentous. Now to begin our lesson, the mighty pencil. Did you know there are two ways to hold the pencil? The first way is similar to when we write. We hold it like this. The second way to hold a pencil looks as if the hand is gripping the pencil under the fingers. So that would be like this. I would pick up the pencil <clears throat> like this. And that's the second way to hold a pencil. Now that might not be very familiar right now, but trust me, if you practice holding the pencil like this, sometimes you'll find that it gives you a whole other way to do art besides this first way, okay? So it's very important that you try both. I also wanna tell you that there are two parts to your pencil. There, uh, tip, there, there's the tip right here. And then there's the side of the pencil. So when you're holding your pencil, like when you write, you're using the tip. But when you're holding your pencil like this and applying pressure to the top of the pencil, you're using the side, okay? So let's try making some lines using both ways of holding the pencil and using both parts of the top of the pencil. We're gonna start by making some light lines and some dark lines with the tip of the pencil. So here's the tip now. Right now I'm going super light and now I'm pressing harder. So now we're gonna use the tip of the pencil and the side of the pencil both to do some light and dark lines. So let me show you first and then you can do it after I show you, okay? Now remember, you don't have to do the exact lines I do. You just have to do something like I'm doing. So here I go. I'm using the tip of my pencil and I'm pressing a little bit too hard because my pencil just broke a little. That was a little too hard, but I'm getting a nice dark line and now I'm pressing really light and I wanna see just how light I can make those lines. And now I'm gonna press dark again and then I'm pressing light. There, that was with the tip. Now I'm gonna pick my pencil up, the new way, the second way, and I'm gonna put my finger on the top just to guide and apply a little pressure. And I'm going to move my pencil with a firm pressure. I'm kind of rolling it a little too, it's kind of fun. And then I'm gonna pick it up and make it really light. Oh, it's so light. And now I'm gonna see if I do it medium. Oh, I got it medium. I'm gonna do it hard again and then light. So now I want you to do that. Okay, so it's really good to learn how to use your pressure on the pencil. And that's how you get your light and dark lines. So I'm gonna make some more thin and thick lines. This time I'm gonna make a bunch of lines together. That's kind of fun. And I'm kind of doing dark pressure. Now I'm gonna do super light pressure. And right, I'm using the tip of my pencil and I'm getting some interesting things going on now. Super light, 
Super, super light. See how light you can get it. I want you to try to get it dark and really light. Now look, I have to sharpen my pencil again. But that was with the tip of my pencil. I'm going to do the same thing after I sharpen my pencil with the side of the pencil. I'm going to pick it up again like this and do similar thing. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Look how much wider my lines can be when they're, when I'm, excuse me, when I'm using the side of my pencil. There's very light. Now, if you go like this and you're not getting any marks, it's because you need to sharpen your pencil. See, if you have a pencil that's nice and sharp like that, you can get a lot of light. This time, I would like you to discover lines. Lines are very important in art. And this time, I want you to try some curvy lines with the side of the pencil or with the tip of the pencil, or a little of both, light and dark, thick, thin, but different kinds of lines. What can you do with your pencil using both the tip and the side? Now you try it. almost finished with this lesson. We're going to make marks now. People all have different marks, but you can copy mine if you want. But this is what I mean when I talk about making marks. You can make marks of any kind that you want. Right now I'm holding the pencil in the number two position. And I'll use, hold my pencil in this number one position. Anything counts as a mark. And some people share marks, and some people make up their very own brand new marks, because there's so many different marks you can do. You kind of get what I mean, don't you? You try it. Hi. Well, I sure hoped you enjoyed yourself while doing that lesson. You do know that you get good at things by practice, right? So keep doodling with your pencil, holding it in the number two position a lot so you get used to the feel in your hand. It will become as comfortable as the number one position is now, seriously. And keep varying the pressure in your lines so you get used to that too. And I hope to see you again.